Hey, how's it going, Ricky? Good. Hey, man, it's minus 20 on the way to work this morning. Did you get to work good. outside today? Yeah, it was it was cold. It was a cold one. Good thing I had my uh, you know bibs and heavy coat on. And yeah, you learn you learn to dress for the weather, don't yes. you? So uh, what are we doing here? We're gonna be doing some uh, maintenance on the 727, uh, adjusting bands, changing filter, uh, and we're gonna kind of show you how to step by step process, of how, pretty much how to do maintenance on one of these. Yeah, how how we do it, anyways. How we yeah. Do it. Um, but if you guys are looking more at how to you know do a tear down rebuild kind of thing uh bad tree productions has a really good video uh they just put out i believe a few yeah days they're doing a good job on that on how to do a complete tear down yeah. so uh if you're looking for something like that go check out that but this is this transmission's already built running good but if we wanted to keep it running good we need to do the yeah, a little bit of maintenance and i'm going to show you our converter and how this engine's balanced and that type of thing as well all right, so what we got here, we have a, a Stroker 360, which is a 408, so it's externally balanced. So we're using a uh, scalloped, externally balanced uh, flex plate. And then the balancer has a weight. It's balanced as well. And this is a Pro Torque 9.5 inch converter. It's supposed to stall up to 3,500 RPM. And it's held in place with the larger 716 bolts. So this flex plate has the 5 sixteenths for 11 inch and for a 10 inch converter. And then for the bigger converters, it has the bigger bolt hole. So this is really nice. I didn't have to buy anything different when I changed converters. Yeah, and it's, but we uh, tend to flash about 4,400 RPM yeah, with that. Yeah, pretty high. Uh, we're pretty happy with this converter. Show you the difference. This is an 11 inch Pro Torque. And that's what was in it before. Uh, the yeah, and we were we were stalling about twenty two hundred RPM with with our combination. And I think you know between tire you know, tires are one thing, but we probably picked up three three and a half tenths in the sixty foot just by switching converters. Yeah, it was it was running a solid two zero in the sixty, and we we've gotten down to one sixty seven, one sixty seven, one sixty eight. Yeah. All right. I think. Uh, we need to flip this thing upside down so we can get the pan off. Uh, let me put the camera down. It's gonna take both of us to flip this thing over. No, nah, don't hurt yourself, old man. I got this. I well, told you I'd get it. Yeah, 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 you've been watching too much Taylor Ray and his snap his fingers and make things happen. But yeah, so we got it wedged, so hopefully it doesn't roll over. Um, we could do a better job, but we didn't. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right, let's get tearing into this. All right, why don't you buzz that pan off? how much uh, gunge we have in the filter or not. So interesting thing, we had trouble with this transmission leaking um, a long time ago, and I had all this green plastic nonsense in the filter. It took me a little while to figure out what it was, and what happened is if you don't put your speedometer gear in correctly, it'll shred. Oh, is that and what you did? That's what I did, yeah. So what'll happen is, all the, in the tail shaft, to lube the, the tail shaft, there's a place for the oil to go in and leave on the bushing. And if you fill it up with speedometer gear garbage, guess what? It doesn't return and then all your oil shoots out the back. And we fought that for a long time. Um, kind of part of the reason why you stopped driving. We stopped it. driving, it could not fix the leak. And we took the tail shaft off to change the bushing out last, uh, well, this time last year we were doing yep. this. And what we found, there was a big burr in the casting. So we, we, um, oh, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, let's see what this magnet looks like. A little bit on the magnet, a little bit of gunge in there. We'll clean that. Filter doesn't deal. look, filter doesn't look too bad. We'll uh, swap it out. Uh, some metal chunks, little shavings. All right. Um, and you don't, what you don't want to do is snap these screws off. So go get yourself a wrench for that and we'll get this pan cleaned up. We won't bore you with that. We'll, uh, shut her off here and we'll get back in a second. Okay. Well, he's taking the filter off. It's five sixteenths wrench there. Um, so the band adjustment, we have a Transgo stage two kit and we have the book here and the book says 
two and a half turns. And according to Transgo, depending on your lever ratio, we have a 2.9 lever ratio, so we're still gonna turn to two and a half turns. So if you had a five, oh, you'd go uh, two turns, and for unknown, or between 4.2 and 4.25, you would go two and a quarter turns out on your adjustment. So I'll show you that when we get there. I just want to point out it does, the lever ratio does matter a little bit, although it doesn't seem to be a lot. All right, and the filter is off. Okay, why don't you wipe that down and then go get the new filter. New filter's right here. Okay, so there's a, an adapter uh, to set the filter deeper in the pan because we're running a deep pan. There is a gasket on that. We're reusing the gasket because I don't have one. I think it'll be fine. That's what we did last time. That goes there. Put the filter on. Those holes will line up. Just put all that together. All right, we got them all lined up. They drop in pretty easy. There's, you, there's only a select few holes you can go. You can't really mess it up, but yeah, just just tighten her down. There's no, uh, I don't know, the torque spec. Not just, much. It's not much. Don't over tighten it. Okay, we got two bands we need to adjust. This is your first and reverse band, and this is your second gear band. Second gear band is adjusted externally. Um, while the pan's off, we do the internal band. So this has a square head and you need a 5 16 square. And while I was looking for it, I discovered that the 12.1130 seconds also fits nice if you don't have, have the uh, square 5 16 So this is an 11 16 nut. We're gonna back it off. It's on there pretty tight. And what, what you need to do is first and reverse band, we go 72 inch pounds. So we run this in and what you're doing is you're tightening up, tightening up the band. We did not adjust this last season. So it's it's been on here a while. I don't think it hurt anything, but just no. while we're in here, it doesn't hurt to yep. take a look at. Okay. That's 72 inch pounds. The next thing I'm gonna do, so I can not lose track, I've got a silver Sharpie, and we've gotta go two turns out. So I'm gonna mark the top where I'm at, and then back that out two turns. Back that nut off. wrench in there. That's one. Again, I'm doing my best to make it look more difficult than it really is. We're good at that. Yeah, we excel at that. Okay, so now this mark being straight up, now we gotta tighten the retaining nut and hopefully this doesn't move. And because I marked it, I'll be able to see if it moved or not. Okay. So with the magic of editing, I struggle with this a little bit. We have our mark straight up, so we're exactly two out. We've got the, the nut tight. Next step, let's clean the old grease off. And the trick that I found that I use that keeps these gaskets from leaking is we'll put some wheel bearing grease on both sides. That's all that this is. The original transmission builder used grease. There's no silicon, nothing, just we'll just put grease down. And we'll torque it to 150 inch pounds. And 
there. That's all we need to do, and it shouldn't leak. Yeah, we had no issues with it during last season. Yep. And I don't need to scrape the pan gasket off because we had a good coating of grease. The pan hasn't even been on a year. Okay. Um, cleaned out the pan, cleaned the magnet. I'm just going to grease on the pan. Yeah, the gasket came off pretty easy because yeah. of that grease. You want to check your pan for flatness in case it was over tightened and we're good. We checked. Messy, but gloves make it easier. Well, servicing goes a long ways. This thing hits hard. This transmission was built from a half ton pickup that uh, I used to tow with and did some racing with. It was slower, it went about 14.58 was its best. And uh, we won some races with that. And that's where this transmission came from. So it's a 79 truck transmission. And I had a guy who's no longer in business. He built this, so there's a lot of years on this. I think if we make it through this year, we'll get it. I gotta find out who can do this transmission, who's good, and, and uh, cause I don't have transmission guy anymore, and maybe get it built. Yeah, if you guys have any uh, recommendations, or you guys anybody yeah, somewhere in Iowa who's who uh, who can do this? Uh, where's the gasket? Is it in the box? Yeah. All right. So I got two gaskets, and uh, of course we'll have the wrong one. Um, one's for a 904. And the others for the 727, just close enough. Is that it? I can't tell. A few times, I don't care if we get the gasket greasy. Then we'll get the pan on. Torque her down. Okay, so Ricky set the torque wrench to 150 inch pounds. Go ahead and buzz them all down. Kind of go back and forth, crisscross pattern. Okay, we got to put a spacer in this one. These these two bolts are different because that's holding our uh, shifter bracket. So go ahead and torque them down. How does that feel for tightness? Does it feel right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you go opposite, back and forth. All right, while you're doing that. So, um, torque converter. So we had, uh, we watched a good, uh, who was that, um, had that really good video on how to install a torque converter? Uh, Ruben at Muscle City Madness. Yeah, you need to check that one out. Uh, he showed how, you know, I never had trouble putting one in until... Um, I mean, it could happen, and he, he showed why he struggled with his, and um, having a, the front pump apart to show you makes a lot of sense, so get over to Muscle City Madness, check out his. That was a really good video on how, so I'm not going to show you that. He did an excellent job, and we're not ready to put the torque converter in anyways. Yeah, a little ways off from that. Yeah, we'll leave it out for a while, but definitely check his video out. Okay, so this is three-quarter inch. This nut. And the last one was 11 sixteenths. Right. So back the nut off. Again, it's the same torque. It's 72 inch pounds. Did you set? All right, I'm just curious. So this is supposed to be two and a half. I wonder where we're at. It's one. There's some wear, so that's a good thing we're adjusting it. Good. Definitely got some wear on it. Back this nut off. So we didn't use a torque wrench last time. We just got to tight. What you want to do is, what you're trying to do is seat it down on the drum. Go 
ahead and back that off a little bit more. There we go. Okay. So that's about where it was. So we're going to be, we're about a half a turn uh, adjustment in compared to where we were. It's one turn. It's two and a half. That's per the Shilton's, also per, per the instructions with the shift kit. At least I get a wrench on both of these and won't have to fight it as much. Boy, if we get one more season out of this thing, I'll be happy. So we did a band adjustment, filter, you put fluid in it. What kind of fluid you put in this thing? Anything. Anything. Whatever. Yeah, pretty much. Actually, whatever. Yeah, not anything. You use whatever. Um, yeah, seriously, whatever. We're using ATF-4 because I had a bunch of that left over. So that's what we started using it. That's what we're going to continue to use. Uh, I think Dexron 2 is what they called for. A lot of people like Type F. I'm not going to argue with you. Put whatever you like to use but literally using, whatever literally so the funny thing is we went down to the parts store and he says what are you looking for and i said automatic transmission fluid for 727 he goes you can use whatever <laughs> i also looked it up on youtube and they said you could use whatever and uh, they're not kidding so we're using atf4 because that's what i had and that's what i'm gonna continue to use it had, it seemed to do good and it came yeah. out clean it was so. clean every time i mean that's a synthetic fluid um we changed it once in the season we probably didn't need to Right. Um, hey, I'm glad we did. Um, we do have a magnet on the plug. And uh, there was a little bit there. I, I think, yeah, one more season and we'll be freshening this thing up. Maybe we'll do it ourselves. Who knows? I mean, maybe. It's a ways in the future. Yeah. I'll worry about it later. All right. Uh, that's that. A little bit of maintenance. And we have a new seal in the, the rear and a new bushing. Last season, it wasn't leaking. I'm going to leave that alone. Same, we put a new seal up front, a little bit of grease around that. Um, it wasn't leaking again, so I'm going to leave that alone. And uh, we'll use the uh, trick. We'll line up the line up the pins and drop that torque converter in when it comes time. And like I said, this is kind of just a general maintenance kind of video. I think we're going to clean the outside of this a little bit. And you know what? I think I'm going to pull the pan off. I feel bad that we didn't paint it. Um, don't need to make a video out of that, but I think we'll do that. That way it's easier to see leaks and whatnot. So, all right, till next time. Uh, if you like, want to follow along in this build, like and subscribe. Thanks.